right, testing again. Hello, if you can hear me, hopefully it works now. <laughs> Gotta love technology sometimes. Let me open up the chat on my phone just to make sure we are good to go. Okay. All right. Well, as long as the audio is working, we'll be getting started. So welcome everybody who's watching from home on your phone, wherever. Um, my name is Coach Jen. Uh, it's my first year coaching at Connected Camps and I'm an esports coach and I coach Rocket League. So today that is what the stream is going to be about is this lovely game here called Rocket League. I like to call it car soccer to my family and explaining it, what it is I do. Um, so if you want to call it car soccer too, that works. Um, but yeah, so today's really just going to be um, some tips on how to get started to play Rocket League, but also just you guys get to have fun with me. Um, I'll let you customize my car for maybe the first game or so, and then we can talk about all the different game modes and stuff. But feel free to use the chat. I have it next to my phone. Not sure if it'll be laggy or not so if I don't reply right away don't worry I'll try to get to everybody today but yeah as long as it's working we're gonna go ahead and get started as you can see this is my car it's really cool kind of basic um, but I really like it it's really nice you can see a 360 all right so, just going to walk through all the stuff over here real quick, especially the settings. Settings are pretty important. If you are going to be a new player, if you are interested in Rocket League and you have no idea what Rocket League is, um, the cool thing is it's actually free to play on the Epic Games Store. So, if you have wanted to always try and play, you definitely can. Just Google pretty much Rocket League Epic Games Store on whatever your internet browser is, and you can easily download it. Super awesome. Um... So I've been playing for about five years and I bought it through Steam. So some things are going to be a little bit different in terms of one, all of the garage stuff I have. Um, there's different play modes if you have a Steam. So I'll talk a little bit about that. But ultimately, there is no difference between having it through Epic Games and Steam because ultimately, even if you have it through Steam, you still have to connect your Epic ID anyways. So... Um, so get started. We're pretty much just going to go down this list really quickly. Um, we'll stop at garage at the end that way. Well, actually garage and then play because we're going to, you guys are going to watch me miss the ball a lot. So I'm super excited. Um, but yeah, so in the item shop, kind of like any other game, Valorant. Hello, hello. Looking in the chat. I see a couple of friendly faces. Yeah, so the item shop, kind of like Valorant. Um, I think even Apex has an item shop. So pretty much where you can spend your own money, buying some really cool stuff. Um, as you can see, I have a couple, which I use for the Rocket Pass, which I'll explain afterwards, but you can buy all sorts of really cool stuff. I think these tires are super cool. Probably match more with my blue car a little bit. But yes, you can buy tires, skins. Um, typically, there's also a free item, so maybe if you don't even want to spend your money, which is totally cool too, um, you can always go to the free item section. Again, similar with all other games there is to play, the item shop isn't a way to win quickly. Um, it pretty much is just a cool way to have a cool looking car, but in no way does this skin make you a better player. So don't feel bad if you don't want to use your money to, you know, go into the item shop. It's really up to you. Um, doesn't make you any better, <laughs> but, it, you know, it does some cool things to make your car look cool. All right, the Rocket Pass. So kind of similar with other games too, such as Apex um, or Valorant. They have a, like a season pass, and that's pretty much what this is. So it started December, ends this month. As you can see, I'm here all the way at tier 98. Um, but the cool thing is, is, even if you don't want to buy the Rocket Pass, um, I believe it's a thousand Rocket League credits. Um, you can still get all this free stuff with this new season. So lots of really cool stuff. Um, it, again, it's the same thing as buying stuff in the item store. You just get extra stuff for putting money into it. All right. 
So garage will go to afterwards. Profile, where you can see everything based off you. Basically your career. So we're going to look at my terrible stats. My win average is 53%. Not too bad, but could be better. But there's all sorts of stuff that you can look at. How many saves you have. Turtle goals are a fun one to do. Juggles. All sorts of really cool stuff. So if you're kind of like my teammates um, and you love to demo people, you want to see how many demos you have, this is the best way to do it. You can also see how you rank up with other people around the world, which is super cool. Replays. So <laughs> replays are awesome, especially if you do want to get better. It's the best way to kind of watch yourself play, um, see your positioning on the field. Um, a lot of times I just save some really cool stuff. So like Epic Save, Bicycle Goal. Um, I'm curious to see, this is my first one from December, 2015. I'd be curious to watch myself play. It's probably super embarrassing, but these replays pretty much stay with your account and they're in a folder basically on your computer so you can access them or share them with other people. And next one, we have a club. So kind of like with, um, I believe Apex has a version of this. You can create a club and you can invite people. So mine's shh because I always like, you know, a nice quiet environment. Usually I'm always listening to music too, so I don't like people interrupting that. But for my club, it's just me and my sister. Pretty basic. Um... So you can have that, invite people to your club. Player Anthems, pretty much a song that plays when you shoot a goal against the enemy team. So this is the one I have. Hopefully we'll hear it a lot today. Sounds pretty nice. Other things we have are your banner. Completely customizable each season. Depending on how far in the ranks you get, you pretty much get all these nice banners. So I think the latest, that's the last time I was probably champ. Um... But you also get ones from just playing the game um, and opening up um, surprise boxes. So lots of really cool ones. A lot of them you can change the color for. This one I can't. This one is also kind of like a label you can give yourself after you score. Mine is Tactical Whiffer because you will notice today I whiff a lot. And whiffing is basically just a, a gaming term for missing. So yes. But it's tactical. It's planned. I definitely 100% always plan to miss the ball. <laughs> Lastly is your avatar border. So it's kind of just basically around whatever your profile picture is. So my, this is my Steam profile. So just all sorts of cool stuff. And you can change the color. All right. Now to the really boring stuff, which is settings. <laughs> this you don't really have to deal with. Um, for today, I just made mine quick chat only because fortunately Rocket League can sometimes promote a negative and toxic environment. But the cool thing is, is you can just disable chat at all times. You can only use quick chat, which is a lot less toxic if you still want that communication. But ultimately, if you are going to play with somebody, try to play with Discord. It's a lot easier to communicate over voice chat. This is a really important section. Um, so this is basically what I call the pro settings. And basically what I did when I relatively started out was look at different pros. Um, so if you Google it, you can just type, you know, Rocket League Pro Settings. There's a huge list. So if you have a favorite player, um, somebody from like Team Energy or um, Alpine Esports, it has all of their settings pretty much right here. Um, and I don't know exactly whose this is, but it's always good to have like your field of view at 110. These are a little bit more customizable based on you. So even if you don't want to follow the pro settings, just kind of fool around with them, have fun. But... Just make sure camera shake is unchecked. This is <laughs> the worst setting and it's really hard to play when your camera is shaking all the time. So just make sure, even if you want to customize this, just please uncheck that. It makes your life a lot easier. Controls. Everything is, I think for me, set on default. Um, I pretty much use mouse and keyboard, which apparently during... Uh, the last showdown for Rocket League was a surprise to some people. I think my sister may have mentioned I use mouse keyboard. I just never grew up playing with a controller. I never had any cool consoles or anything. I just grew up playing on PC. So I'm so used to mouse keyboard that that's just kind of the way it is. So um, for these, if you are going to play with a controller, which as connected coaches, we definitely recommend because it does make your life a little bit easier. Um, these you will want to look up. Um, either with a friend or there's a lot of really good YouTube videos from people like Sunless Khan, Musty Cow. They all have really good videos on where to have your settings at because as a controller, there's a lot of variety, but you want 
to have so certain settings, like with aerials, really close together. So I'm not a good example because I use mouse keyboard. But if you do need um, a resource, YouTube's a great one. Just make sure, you know, it's a, a YouTuber that plays a lot, makes it a lot easier. Interface, pretty basic. Nothing really you need to change. Video is customizable to you. I got a brand new computer because my old one died. So now my settings are actually really nice. I don't really have to uncheck a lot of stuff. Before then, it was everything was unchecked and like everything was on performance. So work what works best for you. Pretty much you want to be having a decent FPS above 60 or at least above 100. Currently mine's at 223, 225. Um, and that's just based off your settings. So the more you uncheck these, the better FPS you'll have. Audio, it's up to you. I don't like my <laughs> game super loud. I also play Rocket League with music um, from like a Spotify pl playlist. So I'm usually not always in this sort of thing. But if you want to have it all the way up, go for it. Chat, super important. Quick chat. I love using quick chat. It's super easy. It's a good way to communicate with randoms as well. So you want to make sure that you pick ones that are important. So especially I got it is a great one because you don't really want two people going for the same ball. That being said, if you say I got it doesn't necessarily mean that that person's going to let you get it. They may just not care. They may also have chat disabled, so they may not see it. But it's still good to let your teammates know what you're relatively doing. There's also compliments. You know, you want to say great pass if somebody passed it to you. You say thanks if they think you had a really nice shot or a nice save. Um, reactions, Savage, I usually use if I get demoed. I think it's funny. Faking, I use if I tactically whiff. Holy cow is a great one. Um, apologies, I use oops and sorry a lot. <laughs> um, and post game, I always try to encourage everyone to say GG because it's a really nice thing to do. And pre game, sometimes, especially in tournaments, I think this is ones you can use them in when you're waiting for everybody. Good luck's a great one. But these are completely customizable to something that you would think you may want to use in game. So use what works great for you. Extras, pretty basic. All right. So now comes the fun part. So I'm going to talk a little bit about cars and the different hitboxes that they have. So it's pretty different than um, kind of how some people think Rocket League works. Actually, a lot of people think that all the cars are the same. They're technically kind of not, but I'll explain it as we go. But today I wanted to do a special thing um, and let you guys actually create a car with me. I will probably only use this for one match because depending on what car you guys pick, um, depending on the hitbox too, I'm not sure how great that's going to work. But let's be creative. Let's have fun. Let's make it look super awesome. So I'm going to label this one. CC stream car and then I'm looking at the chat looks like we got some more people in so today uh, we're gonna customize my car with me so the first one is the body um, typically you do have ones that you gain just by joining Rocket League's so like backfire breakout Dominus um, the Merc for sure I believe Venom and X-Devil and I think Zippy and the Octane are all that you gain just by having Rocket League in general. As you can see, um, some of the more red ones are things that I've either traded or have um, just acquired through either like a Rocket Pass or um, opening up one of the prizes. Sometimes you can win cars. Um, so some of these, you're not going to have all of these. And since I've been playing for five years, um, I've collected quite a bit. Um, I used to play the Scarab. As you can see, I have 1,000 wins with the Scarab. Um, and then kind of hopped around to the Octane a bit. And then pretty much now I use, I use this for a long time as well. And then I bought the Fennec recently. So what I'm going to talk about is with the Fennec, there's something called a hitbox on all the cars. The reason I like the Fennec and a, the reason it's also considered one of the top five cars for the Rocket League Championship Series, so you'll see a lot of the pro sports use the Fennec or the Octane is because of the hitbox. Basically, what the hitbox means is there's just a certain area around your car where you can hit the ball. So, because the Fennec is pretty boxy, it creates a nice, even area around your car. So, if I was to hit anywhere on the front, it would relatively go a direction to which I can control. It won't bounce off funny... Um, 
But that being said, it may still bounce off funny sometimes on the hoods and stuff. But relatively in Rocket League, you try to always hit the ball with the front of your car. So if we compare this hitbox to, let's say, the Aftershock. This is a really cool looking car. I thought it was so cool. And then I started playing with it. And I was like, oh, no, the hitbox is terrible. Because really, you only have this amount of area space to hit the ball. You can still hit the ball anywhere in the front of the car. But it may just bounce off funny. You have a lot less control. You can still hit it here, but it's a lot more shaped out than the Fennec is because it's really boxy. Um, I was going to say the, show you guys the Octane, but apparently I don't have it. I might have accidentally traded it. Um, but the Octane's another really good one. Uh, the Samurai, which I've been using, still relatively boxy. This one's painted crimson, so you can also get painted ones like this one. All sorts of really cool cars. So even though I'm talking about the hitbox, relatively use whatever is comfortable for you. Um, I use the Scarab for a long time and it's round. So it, its area isn't super great. But if you get used to it, it's relatively simple to use. So it's really just up to you. So now for the fun part. I'm going to let you guys choose kind of everything involved in the topper section, the body. So... I guess the way I'm going to phrase it is whoever puts one in the chat, whichever body you guys want first, I'll do that one. We'll work with that one. So which one do you guys want? We got all of these. We got Zippy, X-Devil, the Scarab. All right, we already got one for the Viking top the topper, so I'm going to definitely do that for sure. Love some Vikings. What do we got for cars? Anyone feeling a certain one? All these are really cool. I'm scared whichever one you guys might pick, given the hitbox, but if not, I can also, I think, randomize it, too, so we could also go with that. Anyone have a personal favorite that they want me to try out? Samurai! All right. I'm scared. Okay. I actually think I played this one on my sisters for a little bit, and I thought it was really cool, so maybe it won't be so bad. All right. I'll try the Merc afterwards, too. The Merc might be fun. I don't think I've ever played with the Merc. All right. Also for decals, so you want to make your car look cool. You don't really just want this basic color, so you have a lot of decals. So some of these are holiday stuff like snowstorm, um, cold sweaters, so like um, Christmas, Hanukkah time. Um, other the others are just kind of like season ones and the basic ones. So the orange ones are pretty much animated. So that means that you do get a cool animation on your car, which plays during the game. Oh, you want to go with Mark? Okay, we're changing the Merc. Oh, gosh. As you can see, I have zero wins with the Merc, so this will be fun. I don't have the Battle Bus or the Ford, unfortunately, but at some point I'll get there. All right, so yeah, as you can see, these are animated. Got some really cool ones. Some of them are more solid, but they're considered limited decals. We got a cool dragon. Got a lot of these from this season. I don't know why. This one's always been a fun favorite of mine. I like to use it. That one's pretty sparkly. I don't have a battle bus. No, I, I've i also never played Fortnite, so it wasn't really a thing to get the battle bus. But I also didn't use Rocket League credits at the time. But I wish they would bring it back because I kind of miss it. Got some little Warlock one. That's pretty cool looking. So you guys also get to pick my skin. Also, you can also change skins. So let's say I do this one for blue. My orange one's still completely clear, so we can do different ones for different cars. Got somebody in the chat saying the battle bus is the weirdest feeling body. Probably. Probably. I I haven't gotten a chance to play it, but yeah, some of these cars feel really weird, like the Aftershock. So definitely it's all based off you guys, whatever feels right for you as a player. All right, so you guys also get to pick my skin. Uh, we can do one for orange and one for blue. So, put in the chat what you guys would like. Snowstorm seems pretty bluish. I used fireworks quite a bit too. It's really nice and pretty. The dragon and the warlock are pretty cool. Don't think I've ever seen the warlock used. So, put in the chat. We got spatio temporal. We got pretty basic season ones. See any cool ones you want me to put on? The merc. That one's pretty graphically interesting. Flames. I think I might go with 
Just check in the chat. No one's saying anything. I might go with Warlock for the blue. It's pretty cool. I don't know anything about Warlocks other than, you know, typical movies and stuff. But it's probably a great League of Legends reference, I'm assuming. So if you have a chance, we also do have a League of Legends stream afterwards. All right. So yeah. I don't know. The orange. I feel like the Warlock doesn't really fit the orange one pretty well. What should we do for orange? Fireworks is pretty cool. What else we got? We got some dots. We got a dragon. That one's pretty cool. Any suggestions? A watermelon? I didn't know I had that. Alright. I think I'm actually going to go for the watermelon. What do you guys think? For the orange one. It's pretty cool. All right, paint wise. All right, yeah, paint. So as you can see, because the orange one is not considered an animated skin, you can actually change um, kind of the skin tone to it. So it looks like pearlish, you got metal, you got camo. That's uh, pretty interesting. Circuit board, dino, so it looks like dinosaur skin. Furry, also an interesting one. Hieroglyphic. Love it. Kind of messes with the uh, the melon vibe, though. Pearlescent's pretty nice. Let's go with pearlescent. And you can also make sure you do it for both of them. I don't know where the white is necessarily at the top, I guess. That's just very faint accent. So let's go. Let's go kind of greenish since we're going with the melon vibe. I think orange probably works best with the melon, too. Technically, oh, actually, you know what? I like this color. We're going to go with a pinkish red because kind of more watermelon-y color than, let's say, like a cantaloupe, maybe. I think that looks great. Kind of more pinkish, though. There we go. No. Misclick. There we go. Yay. All right. And then we can go back to the blue one. Very nice blue. I usually love purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors. But I usually like the light blue too, but I don't want to be too bright. I think that's pretty cool and a really nice reflection. All right, so now we got that. The wheels. I have so many wheels, it's it's going to be hard to choose. Um, but I know for sure for the melon. I think I have a melon one. So I have a lot. I have stuff from Halloween. Lots of pink ones I didn't know I had. Um... Lots of holiday stuff. The Ghostbusters event was really fun, too. I thought I had a watermelon. I'll be really sad if I don't. I have a pizza. That might work. There we go. Coop to orange. All right, we are doing a Merc watermelon car. I love it. All right. The blue car. Hmm. Might have to do something kind of bluish. Although we might want to add a little bit of spice, add a different color. Red. I think I've used this one a lot for my basic blue cars. It's also kind of basic. All the blue ones are basic, but the pink ones are really nice. I think that kind of matches a little bit. i got to make sure to equip to blue, because sometimes I mess that up. But yeah, everything looks great. Um, rocket boost. So you can also collect a lot of rocket boost. So when you basically use your boost in the game, this is all the cool stuff you can have. You can have bubbles. No cherry blossoms? There we go. Cherry blossoms look really nice. I don't think I have anything melon related for a melon car, but we'll see. We've got slime. Money is a great one. Rainbow. They all come with really nice sound effects, too. I got the standard... Kind of boring colors, which we might do green. Add with the melon vibe. Actually, you know, Toon Smoke. We're gonna go with that one. Alright, blue. I think lightning kind of goes with the warlock vibe, you know. The warlock shooting some lightning at the enemy team. Nice looking car we got. Alright, so I saw a couple of my Vikings... Uh, teams in here, so I have to go with the Viking helmet, I think, for the blue one. 
except I didn't equip to blue, so now our melon car is also going to have it. But I think we may have something melon related, possibly. If not, my personal favorite is the ghost. I think he's super cute. I change his name a lot. So sometimes it's Casper, sometimes it's um, Henry. Um, but he's been my buddy for a little bit. But recently I stopped using a topper. I don't know why. Just kind of got done with toppers. But let's see. Anything melon? We got a strawberry. Maybe the strawberry sad that we are more focused on melons than fruit. Like strawberries. Yeah, I don't think I have a melon one. We can also use a tangerine. You guys want to go with the ghost? I see one for ghost. I got a little kitten in a cup. Hammerhead. A shark. Yeah, no melons. I'm surprised. Got a little cactus, I guess. That's somewhat plant-like. I don't know. I, mean, I kind of miss my friend Casper slash Henry, so... Let's add the ghost to our melon car. You guys can name him in the chat. Him, her, they, whichever you would like to name our lovely, friendly ghost. Antennas. All right. This is the only one I'm not going to let you guys pick because personally, I... Okay. We got his name or their name. Wally. Could be he. Could be she. Could be whatever they'd like to be. Antennas I find relatively annoying because as you can see they just kind of bounce around all the time and you're trying to zoom Oh, they got an Easter Island one. That's really cool They kind of bounce around a lot So I'm not gonna let you guys pick but if you guys like antennas feel free to share some of your favorites But I cannot stand them. They distract me way too much that I'm already distracted Gold explosion don't have a lot been looking for one in the item shop lately um, I think this is the one I have from the Rocket Pass, but I don't really like how flashy it is, so. I think we'll stick with this one for both cars. Pretty cool. It's kind of like a black hole type thing. Trails are really nice. This is when you hit ultimate peak boost, your trail comes up. So it's a good indicator to take your uh, finger off the boost button. Saves you a little bit of boost. I think we'll do that one for both of them. Looks pretty cool. Engine sounds, I'll just probably just do default. Alright. And here is our lovely car. So, if I get on the orange team, we will have Melon Car. If I get on the blue team, we will have the Viking Warlock Car. So this is going to be exciting. Alright. So, you can also manage your inventory here to see everything. Everything from blueprints. So, blueprints are things that you get by just playing the game, um, trading. Blueprints you do have to pay for. So let's, let me just find a, a random decent one maybe. Um, so let's say you want the endo car. I think I have this one anyways, but if you want it, you can build it with a certain amount of credits. Um, do keep in mind to use your money wisely. As an adult, money is important. So make sure you use it accordingly. Also, things that you get will be reward items. This is also where you can get all of this really cool stuff. I will open one with you guys. So you have an option between rare drop, import drops, and exotic drops. Each one has a specific category. Um, there's a huge list online, I think, too, of all the individual stuff you can get per. So if you're looking for something very specific, you'll want to make this one. I usually just click a random one. I'm going to go with import drop. Let's see what I get. Tires. This is actually probably the most popular thing I get, which is tires, which is why I have a lot. So some pretty cool tires would be nice for a nice orange car. I'm not going to open all of these with you because they take a little bit of time. But if the more you play, the more drops you'll get, the more cool stuff you'll get all of these things. So you can also trade stuff as well in this section. Um, so if you have a lot of stuff, some of the, most of these aren't tradable, but... Um, some of these, I'm going to try and see if I have one I can trade, but it's always hard to find because most of these are seasonal. The wizard hat isn't tradable. Interesting. Alright, so I don't think I have anything that can be traded in, but you can try clicking on stuff that maybe you think you can trade in. If you have up to five items, you can trade five items for one new upgraded item. So you can always trade stuff with yourself, kind of. 
or you can trade with other players. How you trade with other players is you can find them. This is where you find your friends list. Anybody you recently played with, so let's say somebody wanted to trade with you, but you didn't get to friend them, you can friend them here, or you can invite them. And this is where you can get all your notifications for party invites. Challenges. So you'll have different challenges per week and per season. Um, so I guess for 10 matches today, I need to either say okay or no problem, which shouldn't be too bad. I think I can do that. Here's also where you have your season rewards. These unlock over time. Still haven't unlocked this one. I'm working on it. I haven't been playing as much lately. But yeah, so once you get a challenge, you can click claim. And there we have another drop. So super cool. And that's pretty much it for like this interface. We've gone to the really cool stuff. Um, pretty much how I start every Rocket League game, if, whether I'm playing by myself or with a friend, with my sister, I always start by doing a really weird thing. Um, it's nothing to do with Rock League, but for every sport, whether it's outside physical sports, whether it's esports, I always have some form of hydration. Whether it's water, iced tea, coffee sometimes, it's always good to have something you can hydrate with. And this comes really handy if you start feeling frustrated, if you start feeling like you're not doing the best you can, or you are whiffing like me a lot. Sometimes, especially if they score a goal, there's like a five second break. I take a sip of water, refresh and get back into the game. Also helps really nicely if you are going to take a break for a little bit. Just stay hydrated. So even though it's esports, you are still using, you know, your brain, your muscles. So it is good to stay hydrated. So that's how I start every game is I always have something. And also how I start is with some training. I uh, usually I do about five to 10 minutes as a warm up. I either do workshops. So workshops are only for Steam. Unfortunately, um, just because it's on the Epic Games free to play doesn't mean that you will have all of these. If you have it connected to a Steam account, you should be able to access the Steam workshops. Personal favorite of mine are the rings. They're really helpful with training for aerials, um, just getting used to car mechanics in the air. So those are really helpful. There's a lot of cool ones. There's an Among Us map now. Uh, I have Quidditch, which I haven't really <laughs> tried yet. And lots of really cool training. But again, this is only for Steam. So because most of you might be from Epic Games, everybody has this sort of training area. Typically, as a coach, I'd like to say if you are gold or less, these are going to be your three best friends. Each one has different rankings. So if you're brand new, you're basically a rookie and you progress more into pro and all-star. So I'd say after you tackle these three, you feel really confident in all of them. Um, you can also move into custom, which is what I do. But again, just know that you may be all-star and um, striker, but maybe you have a little bit of a weakness being a goalie. And that's totally fine. You're not going to be at the same step per skill level. You may feel like you're champ and aerials, but then when it comes to like saving goals, you're just like, oh man, I feel like a silver. So all of these areas aren't always going to be the same, but typically what I do for training is I try to work on things that I know I need to work on. So I would say probably I'm a better, uh, relatively a better goalkeeper than a striker, but it really just depends on you. Um, in the training browser, these are made by um, people who have made them. You can also create your own here. And hope it gets featured. Um, but these are people who also have most of the time YouTube accounts and are really good at creating these sort of things. So typically I don't create my own. It just seems too complicated. So I like to borrow off some people. Get a lot of cool stuff here. You can also browse here. Um, sometimes if I don't find what I'm looking for for my teams, I'll find one online um, through forums, Rocket League websites. And then you can just enter the code here, plug it in, and you're good to go. And then you can also save these too. So if you do get a code, it's also good to save them. Um, typically, I did have a lot more. I don't know why some of these didn't save when I got my new computer, but um, I usually try to do one of these for five, 10 minutes, especially the long ones. So Paquito has really nice ones because they're about 46 shots long. And that's a really good warm up for me. So that's what I usually do. I usually don't just hop into a game right away. The good news is for this stream, I already did my warm up. So I can also hop into free play. Free play is another great way to warm up, which I'll show you guys. This is my favorite map, by the way. 
as my teams will know, I love Salty Shores. All right, my mark looks a little bit weird, but that's because of my team colors. So free play is basically just you on the field. Really great. No bots, no distractions, just you. In the settings, I usually have unlimited boost and free play. But to show you guys, um, boost is really important if you guys are new to Rocket League. And I already whiffed, so that's great. So the small little boosts here you see that I'm just going to run over are about 12 boosts each. And the corner ones give you your full set back of 100. And then you just try to hit the ball in the other goal. In free play, you can actually hit it in both. That way you can change directions. The Merc feels insanely heavy for some reason. But it's a heavy car. And then you can play around with some aerials. And you just kind of do that for 5-10 minutes, play around. If you're brand new to Rocket League, really focus on just getting the car movements down on the ground. Really focus on just boosting, staying on the ground relatively. You might see people doing crazy aerials when you first come in. Try not to panic. Try not to get a little bit stressed. Really just focus on working on your movements on the ground at the beginning. Another fun activity I do with um, some of my teams is we play Rocket League backwards. Some of the GMs in here might know that this is a fun one I like to do. It's just a great way to get your car mechanics well in because ultimately, if you're only comfortable driving forward, there may be a situation where you do need to go backwards. All right, we got a shout out from It's Spartan. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. So always make sure that you are comfortable moving backwards. It's a good way in case you are in a situation where you need to go backwards, you can. <laughs> and then when you get into the more crazy stuff, you can start doing aerials, which is basically you just jump. That's how you jump. Mine's the right mouse button. Again, I play with mouse and keyboard. I'm weird like that. So you pretty much just move your car up like this, hold down boost, and you're off. And then you run out of boost, and then you get more. And then you just keep doing crazy stuff. So I hold down shift to do an air roll, and then let's say I want to go right. It moves my car right. Pretty basic. Very basic, but it looks really easy, but it's not. Again, I've been playing this game for five years, and I think the first two years I was probably around gold, and I still couldn't fly. I was just kind of zooming around on the floor. My sister was doing all sorts of crazy stuff, and it took me a long time to learn. But the good news is, the more custom training and any training you do before you hop into some of the casual games, you will get better. But free play, you can use for anything. You can use this to warm up. A lot of my teams do before their matches. If they don't want to practice with each other. I'm scared to use this car in a casual game. I'm going to whiff a lot. This car is funky. But I'm excited. So. And yeah. So there's a lot of also cool tricks you can do. There's things called the Musty Flick. The Athena Flick. Um, a Kookser Pinch. There's a lot of interesting moves out there on YouTube. I'm pretty basic. I like to just focus on my car mechanics, shooting the ball, and really focusing on accuracy before I get into all the crazy stuff. But it is good to kind of, you know, learn those things, especially if you're interested. But hopefully one day I'll do a stream like that where once I learn how to do a cool move, I shall teach you guys how to do it. It just might be a little bit weird since I'm on PC and not controller. But that's basically what I do as for a warm up. I just fool around. And then usually by that time, my friends come or I play by myself. So I exit out. And I either get a friend invite or I play by myself. And usually when I play by myself, it is relatively 3v3 standard. I usually don't do doubles with another person. Um, I usually say this for my sister because we have a really good understanding of how each other plays. And I... Can, you can thank my uh, Vikings team for this. I've been getting into 1v1 duels a lot lately. I'm still not good at them, but I will say doing them has boosted my confidence a little bit. So if you need that, 
definitely do some 1v1s. 4v4s, I only do if I'm in a 4 stack. It's, as it says, it's pure chaos. So, only do this if you absolutely are ready for chaos. Competitive, here's my lovely Rikes. Um, Diamond 2. Still not happy about this. Well, I think I was champ when I first ranked, and then, you know, you get in that stage where you keep trying, and then you're losing. So now I'm down to here, which is fine. I used to be ranked in standard, but I don't think I've played that lately. So it kind of is what it is, and it does kind of get rid of your rank um, when you don't play. But then when you play again, it'll give you back your rank when you lost it. Extra modes. Love extra modes. Um, all of my teams will tell you that my absolute favorite is hoops. I don't know why. I just, I like it a lot. It's fun. It's soccer and basketball mixed. Um, but relatively rumble drop shot are also great ones. Probably my least favorite is just snow day because it's just an interesting change with the, the car I'm seeing some spike rush. You guys know. <laughs> yes. Um, so if I had to pick between anything, anything would be better than spike rush. I am terrible at Spike Rush. I am so glad that it is not an option right now besides in a private match because I am terrible. I'm terrible at Spike Rush. It's not even funny. My my it's 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 a fun thing. So Spike Rush, definitely not something I would choose to do for fun ever. But my players love Spike Rush. So I always try to make sure I do Spike Rush to cheer them up. And it makes them laugh when I am terrible at it. So seeing some Spike Rush. Yes, Gridian, I would say, yes, much better than Spike Rush. Tournaments. <laughs> Technically, I could join a tournament, but then that would just make the stream really long, huh? So, especially if we go pretty far. So, I'm not going to do tournaments, but I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a 3v3 standard. You guys get to see that with this Merc. Depending on how that goes, I may change my car back to the Fennec. Maybe do a couple of these, and then we'll hop into some extra modes. Um, I think with the extra modes, I'll let you guys choose which ones to do. Um, probably won't do any competitive today just because it's ranked. Um, definitely not in the ranked mindset. I think you also need to understand that with ranked, you know, you do want to be in a good, healthy, happy mindset to do ranked. You don't want to just do ranked because somebody wants to do it or you feel pressured. Only do what's comfortable for you. So if you are in a good mood to do comp, do comp. Today, I think we'll just stick with casual. So, um, this is also where you can have certain arenas. I think they just still picks whatever arena. I don't think it actually cares what you like. Um, in regions, you want to make sure you are playing in your region. Otherwise, your ping will be terrible. Yes. Definitely a bad mood equals <laughs> uh, reg twos. Yeah. So, standard, I think we'll go with. I'm really scared about this mark. Um, so if you also are waiting, you can customize your car. I usually go into free play if I'm waiting a long time, but I'm guessing I'm not going to have to wait very long. If I do, I'm shocked. It's a Saturday. People are playing. Or I guess not. I think this is pretty... Compared to how quickly I usually join, it's pretty quick, but... Oh, gosh. All right. I'm joining one that's already in. Not much I could have done there. Um, the bot was kind of on the other end of the field, so... Definitely couldn't do much there. It happens. Especially when you're joining in. But, now you can go. Usually when I'm in this position, I just go straight... For this boost, and I sit in goal for about two seconds. I have no boost, so that'll be interesting. I'm gonna wait for him, see what he does, but he's getting bumped. My other partner saw me ahead, but decided to go himself, so... Hopefully my friend's there. He is. What a shot. Oh, I think he's going to make it. Nice. I play really passively. I've been trying to get more aggressive. 
I usually don't like to ball chase. I save that for everybody else, because typically everybody else kind of does ball chase, no matter what rank you're in, so I usually just tend to let them do their thing, and I try to rotate back a lot. But I'm trying to get more aggressive. I also alternate periodically between ball cam and free cam. It's really helpful. I did not read that well. This melon car is really cool, actually. Oh, he missed. And I'm gonna miss, and I hit him. <laughs> is my friend gonna go for it? So I see him go for it. I'm just gonna chill towards goal. Slightly whiffed that, almost. Great clear. It's alternating between ball cam, free cam. Just good vibes all around. They're both sort of up, going for it. No reason for me to slightly go up. Except he's missing. So really just making sure you're patient. You don't always need to be near the ball. That was planned, I think. There's possibly somebody I could bump, and I actually landed on him, so that kind of counts. Nice. And they left, which sometimes will happen. In casual, you are allowed to leave the game. And so you win by forfeit. So then you say GG, and I usually say dance, because it's cool to watch people move their cars, but yeah. Then you got about a minute to just kind of chill, drink some water. It looks like they all left, so I shall too. Really interesting using the Merc. I'm definitely not, um, I haven't played with it before, so it's definitely a new experience. It's not terrible. The hitbox is relatively close to the Fennec, I think. It's just bulkier. It's really, it's a lot boxier than the Fennec is. The Fennec, I think, is kind of a mix of the Merc and the Octane a little bit. But that's about, not bad so far. I think the melon car is really cool. Usually if I wait too long, I hop into free play. It's basically the same thing. Even if you already warmed up. I'm actually going to change. So yeah. Best way to practice is without unlimited boost. But definitely easier to do a lot more cool stuff. With unlimited. And we're at the same field again. This is where you can see your ping, how many goals, assists, saves, shots you have, your o your overall score, which is basically just how many times you've hit the ball. And sometimes people don't load in, so a bot will come in, I think, probably for the other two. Got some interesting names going on here. And the worst part is, too, is when somebody typically joins, my FPS drops terribly. But only lasts for a couple of seconds, which isn't terrible. So he's up. I, again, stay relatively towards goal. I got blown up, which is fine. It's part of the game. No need to get frustrated. It is what it is, you know? Close one. So I'm going to go up the wall on this one. Instead of going directly towards goal. I think I'm going to actually miss that. Because that was not a good read. And that one I did not have the angle for. Which is fine. Probably still could have tried to go up. I just didn't think I had it. Trusted my teammates. But we all make mistakes. It's all good. Yeah, the Merc's a little... Boxy might change it after this one, but it's all good. It was fun playing the melon car for a bit. Might have to make the um, my Fennec a melon car. Although I don't know if I have this, the melon skin for that. Oh, he went for that. 
I'm just gonna chill. Drive backwards. Ah, crossbar queen. I love hitting the crossbar, but it's good practice. I used to play soccer, so I'd always always hit the crossbar on that too. It's just kind of what happens in soccer. <laughs> I technically did not mean that. I was actually going for boost, so that was an accident. But accidents happen. It's all good. I cannot freestyle with the Merc. I don't know how. The Merc, I think, given its hitbox too, um, is really good for bumps and demos. I think it's probably one of the best. Besides maybe the Battle Bliss. The Battle Bliss might be great for that. It's definitely not sleek enough for the tightest aerials. But again, it's up to you whatever car you would like to use. I thought he was going to double go for that, but he didn't. So it's actually a good thing I waited. I'm going to try and go for it. And I whiffed. Which happens a lot. That was not accidental. But it creates space on the field. So demos, as much as people hate them, they're part of the game. And they're tactical. They're really helpful in clearing space. I could have demoed him. Didn't feel like it. So you just got to make these decisions. You don't want to waste all your boost trying to demo somebody. It's really not worth the energy. There's nobody there. Whiffed again. I'm playing terribly. But again, it's my first time streaming. It happens. My players can tell you I don't play 100% all the time. Especially when I'm scrimmaging against them. He's going for it. I'll stay relatively back. Nice shot. <laughs> it's still fun to have you, Mr. Vo, you know, um, scrimmaging with me. But all my whiffs are, are calculated, of course. It's, it's all planned. And whiffing is okay. It's okay to make mistakes. I usually frame it as tactical because it's a more positive aspect. Yes, I planned to miss the ball. Better to always have a positive reaction than a negative one. So, just say you planned it. Oh yeah, definitely. I love to spam. Faking a lot. I just looked at my points. I'm slightly disappointed, but... I think we can come back from this, I think. I think I might get demoed. I don't know. No, he took my boost, but technically I switched fields because there were no boost on my end, so... It's all good. I'm gonna try and pressure that. Didn't work. I'm gonna let him go for that. That was pretty close. Probably should have gone for that. What do you guys... Yeah. So what do you guys think in that situation I should have done? Probably. Should have stayed in gold, tried and go for it. Should have been more aggressive, tried to, to plan out where it might have landed. That's unfortunate. And I think he left because of that. So, as you guys can also see, own goals kind of happen, whether or not they're intentional. You know, I, he, I think from that angle he tried to save it. Um, but it is what it is. You know, sometimes it'll hit off your car. Sometimes you just accidentally forget what color your goal is and then you score it in. It happens. No need to leave. But if you feel uncomfortable staying after an own goal, it's okay to leave too. Alright. I think I'm done with the Merc for a little bit. 
definitely not doing too great. So you can do this. <laughs> you can do this and change your car. So super easy. You don't have to go all the way back to the menu. So now I'm on the Fennec, which is what I normally use. And I'll ready up because Ernst looks like he's ready to go. Take a sip of water. You get a little bit of chance if there's only two or three of you to just kind of fool around a bit. And then everyone comes back in. Interesting gamer tags. I like it. I always like to look at what people's names are. So if you got any interesting uh, gamer tags and some stories behind them, feel free to put them in the chat. I'd love to know how you guys came up with your gamer tags. Whiffed again. All right. Starting off great. Already, I kind of tell the Fennec feels a bit lighter. I don't know if that's necessarily a hitbox thing or if it's just a mental thing, but I think some cars probably feel a bit different. The Merc just felt heavier. Yeah. Gonna let him get that boost. No reason for me to take it when I have 99 boost. I'm just gonna stay back here. Rotate back. Ooh, what a play. I can't control my car sometimes. Gonna let Ernst hit that close one. What a touch. Very close. So even if there's no 100 boost, the baby boost is still relatively available. So don't panic. He's already up. I might not get that. Might go for a bump. Ooh, what a play. Nice dribbling skills. Looks like Colton didn't want to stick it out. That's fine. It's a nice thing about casual is if you're waiting for a friend, you can play for a little bit, you can leave. I usually like to stay to finish my matches. Even if, you know, you're 10 and 0, it's still good to stick it out. All three in this corner. I usually try to give them space, not be in anyone's way. Those are typically hard ones to read. Oh, we got a nice pass. I was not there. He's going for it again. Very nice. I'd like to say no problem so I can get that challenge. I think I'm supposed to say it in 10 games, but I don't want to say it at the wrong time. There, I can say it now. Easy peasy. Oh, close one. Those are definitely the hardest, especially if you're already on the wall here. Not the easiest to save, but he tried very close. Probably did better than I could. On this one, I'm going to cheat, which basically means just move up a tiny bit. And I totally misread that, so that was completely my fault. This is the hard thing, is when you don't have the chance to communicate through voice chat with people that you are playing with, it's very hard to kind of know what they're thinking, but... I'd rather play passive than have both people go for the ball. I think I misread that. Just a tad. Might go for a little bump, but he's already out. Looks like Abstract's gonna get it. 
I'm going to go back because there's no reason for all three of us to be out, especially with sometimes their clears are pretty good like that. Let Ernst get it. I whiffed. So I'm just going to put that as faking because I feel terrible that I missed that. But it is what it is. Now we got a bot, Wolfman. Sometimes the bots do really great as um, some of my players might put in the chat. Sometimes the bots just get really OP. So even though they're a bot, sometimes they score really nice goals and it's really surprising. So... Don't hate too much on the bots. And I saw her go for that and I panicked. But the good news is it didn't go in. It's one in four. Still plenty of time. I keep forgetting that's a bot. And so technically they won't be able to do all the fancy stuff we can do. Surprised nobody's come in for the bot, but it's all good. Oh, Wolfman was close. Seems like casual's not my vibe right now. Gonna wait for the bounce, except Ernst is there. No problem. It's all good. We both want the ball. We both want the same thing, which is to win. It happens. He feels bad. It looks like it's me and two bots. It's 21 seconds. I could leave. I usually just try not to. There's no reason. Stick it out. The bots are fun. Definitely a wide shot there. Of course, for these, I have to get back because the bots technically won't be able to defend quite well. But they're trying their best for AI. It is what it is. Alright. <laughs> the bots are OP sometimes. I got another one of those light shows. Okay, cool. Alright. So I could do another 3v3 standard. Looks like I'm not doing so hot, but I got a challenge, which is what matters. Getting that XP in. All right. Should I do another 3v3 or should I do an extra mode? What do you guys want? What do you want to see? Rumble, I got really close to um, Grand Champ. Then I played with some new friends kind of lowered down a bit so put in the chat if you guys want some drop shots some hoops snow day we can stick with very basic casual it's all up to you guys could be my phone is also behind because that's where I'm looking in chat so the I use a different internet for my laptop because the internet at home isn't great with a bunch of people living in the house but it is what it is Or do you guys just want me to pick a random mode? Because I can do that too. Hoops, although I love, usually reserved for me and my sister because it's the best. But you know what? I think, if I don't see anything in the chat, let's do some drop shot on snow day. 1v1s. I already talked about 1v1s. You missed out on 1v1s. But maybe I could do 1v1 after, although I might embarrass myself a little bit. But... Yeah, I have been doing more 1v1s. I did mention that earlier, because I know you've been pushing me to do more 1v1s, so I have been doing those. So, been working on them, just not ranked 1v1s yet. Still getting my confidence up in the casual 1v1s. <laughs> you might have gotten the time zones mixed up a little bit, but thanks for joining. Glad to see, even if you guys can only stay for a minute. A couple games. Still get good to see you guys. Might have to wait a while for this one. Just because kind of the higher ranks you go up. 
especially with the custom modes, sometimes takes a while. So, pop into some free play. All good. You're late. Although you did miss me whiffing a lot with the melon merc. We made a merc with some melon skins and decor. Which is pretty fun. I can say that the merc isn't my favorite car. But it's still a good car. Oh, you saw it? So you also saw me with the melon merc. Yeah, the Fennec I've surprisingly enjoyed quite a bit. I didn't think I would, because it is kind of boxy, but it's great. Cool thing about free plays, you can just backspace and then crossbar. Woo! Whiff. Might have to do another showdown. With some coaches. Maybe we can do boomer mode. I think some boomer mode would be fun. Kind of boring if I did it myself with some bots. The bots would just kind of sit there. Drop shot. Alright, for this one, you just try to have to hit the ball on the enemy team's side. So that it's blue. And it creates those little tiles on the floor and opens it up the more you hit it down. And then you want to make sure that they don't do that to your side. Pretty basic. Definitely drop shot is one you want to do when you're more comfortable with your aerials. Obviously you can still do it no matter what rank you are. But the more better your aerial skills, the better you will be at drop shot. But it doesn't always have to be in the air. So I see cat. I can't actually read. I'm just gonna call him cat. I usually give people nicknames because I can't usually read. But we both went for that, which is fine. I'm usually pretty passive on some extra modes too. Besides hoops, I tend to be pretty aggressive. But usually there's. I feel like there's no reason for me to go when two people are up. Or you try to even out the space. See, everyone's kind of going for it. I'm really just here vibing. Just makes it more chaotic when everyone's in the same space. But it's up. And I double clicked, which will sometimes happen. No matter how great of a mouse you have, sometimes the game just thinks, let's double click. So that happens when you're trying to aerial. It's all good. We got the goal. So we got cat. Monston. Don't know how to pronounce the name. Probably just say M. Got some interesting names on the other team. This one's also a good one to bump and demo if you can actually do it and not miss like me. Create some space on the field. Especially if you know your teammate's gonna try and knock it down. Oh, saved that, so I didn't you didn't have to see me not save it. Interesting teamwork there, but it works. Going for some great aerials. Ooh. Got a little hole on our side, which is fine. The good news is it resets on our side, but all of... Our damage on their side is still there, so... Typically for drop shot, if you're the first team to make a goal, generally is a good sign. Generally have a higher chance of winning. But not always. Some people directly off of kickoff can score a goal, so it really just depends. I think I'll stick around in the midline just because I don't need to go up, but I also don't need to go too far back. And it's fine because I can still miss. And I think I hear him behind me, but probably should have said I got it. 
This one you also want to conserve your boost as well. Misread that one. I thought M had it, but it's all good. Just trying to get it out of that space because that's where the majority of tiles are. Besides that area now. I'm gonna head back and rotate. Which didn't work out, but it's fine. Still got some time. Lots of damage on their side. almost had that. Thought I probably did, but I think the top actually hit the roof of the map. I think, yeah, he probably had that. Ooh, barely. But they still got it. Looks like we're all three there. I'm just gonna try and give people space. Which works out on the end. Generally don't want to be that person who's always next to somebody else or bumping them. I like to give people their space because I like my space sometimes. But some people both play really aggressively. So you just gotta be aware that some people may always be next to you, which is fine. Dangerous play, of course. So you don't always want to technically hit it back like I did right here but it is good to get it up into the air that way it does give your teammates time but accidents happen it's part of the game we're both going for it but I think it's okay and GG it is what it is got some nice music going on all right Looking at the time, we do have another stream coming up, so I think I'll probably do one more. These are also ranked, by the way, but typically for these sort of extra modes, rank isn't really super important to me. I think we got time for one more, so I will exit out. What do you guys want to see in the chat? Can do another casual. Polaris might want me to do a duel. Gonna try and avoid that, if you guys want. Another drop shot, hoops, a rumble. Another casual. I could do chaos mode. Might be a little bit before we find a game. You were champ and drop shot. Nice. I think I'm still stuck relatively very close to champ, but not doing so good. You guys want to see another drop shot? That last match wasn't the greatest, but... You can't always have the best matches. If you always have great matches, you, you need to know what it's like to learn when you are doing things wrong, so. I need to get my hoops rank up. I do. I do. I'm a little disappointed in that. Oh, gosh. Okay, looks like I'm doing hoops. Definitely my favorite. Um, always more comfortable playing with somebody I know just because... When you play with certain people, you understand their play style a little bit more. For example, my sister plays more aggressive and I play more passive and it works. Usually when I play with randoms, it's an interesting experience, but I did some last night and it wasn't terrible playing hoops with somebody else. It's just, it's always good to play with people you know. But, you know, not everyone can be on the same schedule and I've got friends in different time zones too, so it's just a weird thing of trying to schedule all that. But the best thing about Rocket League is there's also a lot of ways you can play by yourself. You can do these extra modes by yourself. And it looks like it may take a while, which is fine. Definitely need to get these ranks up. Rumble. Rumble's been relatively stable, actually, which is nice. 
Um, but I'm getting actually quite bored of it. It's kind of the same stuff. But it is a good way to get used to unpredictability. Because you don't know the power-ups that other people have. Drop shot, I think I actually was in the champ region when I started. Still relatively close there. Tournaments, haven't won one yet. Yeah, do your homework. You know me, I'd love to encourage you guys to do your homework first before you play. Um, when I was in high school, my dad would always have the saying, he'd say, um, play only becomes before work in the dictionary. So I was never allowed to do anything fun until I finished my homework. So if that works for you, it works for you, but yes. No playing, do your homework. Um, I'm assuming I'll go since I'm on the left. That is sort of a Rocket League rule. Is that the left always goes, but there are just people who go for it no matter what, and I think that's a shot. I do like monkeys. I think monkeys are cool. Probably favorite is orangutan, but we're getting off topic. Usually I also let the people in the middle go, unless we're both diagonal, but we are with some fancy people today. The one time I stream, it's going to be the craziest people on earth. Which is good practice for me, because I'm relatively not crazy. I like to play really basically. Ouch. I have no boost, so I'm just going to let him try and go. Although I could put pressure on that. I don't think I have to save that. Probably better if I didn't, because it might bounce off your car weird. Of course, that one goes into... Definitely hard to read those, especially when you are on the opposite end of the field. And the bounce is always weird, but it is alright. Usually left goes, I'm gonna assume my friend will go. Another thing you can do is just boost star, which basically just means boost hogging. It's pretty effective in hoops because the field is smaller. And I thought he hit that. Maybe that was my computer. Buggin'. Oh, I actually saved that. Didn't have any confidence in me, but I saved it. So even when all hope is lost, still try. My boost management isn't doing too great today either. I feel like I always have only 12 boost a lot. In boost management, the easiest way to kind of do that is to tap your boost, which I'm still getting used to. It looks like that's over, actually. So I'm going to try and put it back into play, but I didn't. Ostrich got it, so I'm going to say nice block because that's nice. You know, when you do a nice thing, you want to make sure it's appreciated. I think that's too hard. But it was on slightly on target, so. Wow, what a double tap. I usually like to play off the walls on hoops too. It makes your life easier. It's like you're passing to yourself. That might go in. Nice. Oh, he's got the new goal one. I am playing Rocket League on keyboard, yes. So just to let you guys know, I am weird. I play Rocket League on keyboard. I played controller for a week, um, let's see, a couple months ago maybe, and I could not do it. I just, I have never played with a controller, and so it's just a weird thing. That's going to be a dunk maybe? No? Go ostrich, go. Oh no, okay, I guess I'm going. Don't really know what Ostrich is doing, but it's all good vibes. I've whiffed, so that's actually my fault. So yep, play a mouse keyboard. Tried controller. Didn't do great. But controller does have it has its advantages for sure, especially with aerials, so I'm gonna let him know he can take this. 
Because there's no reason for me to go for that. Nice. Ostriches are pretty cool animals, but I'm not a huge fan of birds in general. Oh, I might have that, actually. I think this is actually my first goal for the entire stream, which is pretty sad. But I did it, and it was in my favorite mode as hoops. We are vibing now. I'm going to hit the rim on that. This is also why you don't get super excited, because the game changes really fast. You may score, and then you may whiff. So, always keep up your vibes. I'm going to let him go for that. Hopefully he goes. I'm going to play aggressive, which did not work in my favor anyways. Oh, it actually demos you if you're in the goal. I like that. I just don't want to use all my credits for that. Ostrich might have that, but it doesn't look like it. I guess I'm going for it. Thought Ostrich may have gone for it. So usually I don't go out of my way to demo people, but if they are in my way physically, no harm. I hear Ostrich going. I think I'll just chill. Lots of more things for Spike Rush, man. Y'all know I'm bad at Spike Rush. Oh, I thought he might actually have that. May have accidentally tried to bump him. And I may have missed. What a shot. A nice bump, except I did not hit hard enough. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm the only one who uses a uh, quick chat. Oh, that was an interesting uh, pass, Ostrich, but it's all good. That was a terrible pinch. Slightly misread that. We might have a chance. You can always do a buzzer beater. Just gotta keep it up. Which probably won't work, but we lost to the Goofy Goobers. Which is fine. I might have that song stuck in my head for the rest of the day of the Goofy Goober song from uh, like an old SpongeBob movie, but yeah. I love some good team names. Sometimes they're really funny. At least one said GG. I don't think... A lot of people don't use quick chat, but it is what it is. I like to just communicate. So yay, I got, I think, credits from my uh, rocket pass. XP, another drop. But yeah, I think it, it's close to the upcoming stream we got. So thank you guys for, for sticking around. Um... This is my first stream ever, so thank you guys for joining me. And I'm hoping to still continue these. Um, if you ever got some suggestions, you can leave them in the chat. <laughs> diamond, so yeah, I'm diamond in hoops. Don't play like it sometimes. Relatively played okay in that round, I think. But yeah, diamond in hoops. Diamond practically in everything besides rumble right now. Um, which is okay. Definitely had a lot of, haven't had a lot of time to myself. But, um, thank you guys for joining the stream. I will try to be continuous with these streams and we can 
try and have some interesting crazy stuff might have to actually show you guys at some point um all of these crazy private modes i have so definitely have a lot that i use for my practices thank you guys for watching please come back in around 30 minutes we're going to have a league of legends stream i have never played or watched league of legends i think i'm gonna stick around be on that stream for a little bit um learn how to play i guess but we got some awesome coaches coming up so please <laughs> thank you guys for joining as well i i recognize most of your guys's uh twitch names but yes so the league stream is going to start at four um pacific standard time so that's about 30 minutes from now so um please stick around make sure to grab some water stay hydrated grab a snack um, walk and stretch, of course. Don't always sit at your desk all the time. But thank you again for joining. Um, try, I'll try to keep these streams consistent. Try and do some more cool stuff with you guys. Might have to play around with that Merc for a little bit before I come back, though. But again, thanks for joining. Coach Abby, yes. Coach Abby is actually moderating this stream right now. She's done amazing. And she is going to be playing next. So I'm excited to see what all those coaches do. Please stick around. Have fun. Um, and we'll start another stream in about 30 minutes. So, yeah, we got Coach Titus coming up. We got a lot of cool people. Um, it's a good thing I don't play a league because I'd probably do worse than I just did right now. But, again, thanks for joining. See you guys in about 30 minutes. Um, and, yeah, have fun with Rocket League. It's a really awesome game. All right, see you guys next time.